Salutations gamers, I'm the OGG Game, and welcome to D uh, Deep EO, I guess you could call it, I don't know, I don't know who the freaking executive is going around making these names progressively harder and harder pro to pronounce, but I don't like them. But anyway, we're just gonna call it Derpio, because th that's a funny name. Anyway though, <laughs> anyway, so... If you're wondering, this uh, this is a very recent game that came out, I suppose. Well, Wingzo is still in beta, but but this this game recently came out, uh, a full version, and it's basically you just go around as a tank and you shoot up these blocks and those other people that are going to try to kill you. And as you hit these blocks, you can you're, you're going to level up. And if you see there in the bottom left hand corner over there, there is all this stuff down there, and it's saying that I have a bunch of points to spend, which I'm going to spend in just a minute. So. Uh, once you go around and you, um, you you collect up points by breaking breaking down all these boxes and stuff and leveling up slowly as as time progresses again you you get points that are going to go straight into your, uh, straight into this which you just put into here right now I just upgraded the damage now and I'm also going to increase health regen and max health oh geez we're being hit pretty hard by some guy with a machine gun. Now, now that that's been done, I'm going to hit E, and I'm going to put it onto auto-fire. Auto-fire is E, and that and that's very helpful, uh, because that way we don't have to constantly keep clicking, we can just kind of mosey around here. Now, this guy with the machine gun is being kind of a douche, because we are not even at his tier yet. He is a very high tier, and he's just trying to, he's basically just bullying people who are new into the game. But anyway, so let's increase our max health again, just to try to keep ourselves alive a bit. There we go. Now, as as you progress through the game, you're going to notice that there are uh, abilities that become unlocked more than just these normal abilities that we have here, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about pretty soon anyway. So we're going to keep just leveling up as we can and boosting our, our points into different abilities that are going to help us along the way. Let's increase our reload time, and now let's break down this blue thing, which... Hopefully you'll get a straight level. And here is where the game starts to get interesting. You have all these upgrades. You can get twin cannon, sniper, machine gun, or flank gun. Now, I, now I've now i tried the flank gun. The flank gun, the end of the flank gun is probably uh, where my favorite upgrade is. But we're going to try to go with twin guns for now and see how far we can get. I think it'll be pretty interesting. Now, if you go uh, with the flank gun, that's probably... If you go with Flank Gun, it becomes the most defendable tank, the Octo Tank, where you fire in all directions and with auto fire on at a constant rate, which is really helpful. Now you're probably noticing I'm increasing reload speed. Now what reload me by increasing the reload, that means that I will be firing faster. The bullets themselves don't fire all that fast, but they come out of the cannon much faster, so I can pump out these bullets like a machine gun, even without going into the machine gun uh, specialization. But you could go into the machine gun specialization and then upgrade your reload and then be ridiculously fast with, with, with all that. We're also going to increase our bullet penetration. Bullet penetration means that the bullets are going to hit stuff and destroy them and keep on going. And the higher your bullet penetration, the more it helps out with firing when uh, your bullets are going up against somebody else's bullets and other things like that. You'll, you'll, you'll see a bit. So... Yeah, and so as our bullets do more and more damage and the like, they're just going to start ripping through things like it does right there. Just rip right through it. No problem. And <laughs> there it's also ripping through other people's bullets. I don't know much what to say about these sorts of games because I'm not much of a competitive player and I'm not a very competitive person in general. So, you know, I'm not freaking out trying to, like, destroy every last single soul on this entire server like some people might be trying to do or whatnot. That guy is pretty clever. He's going with the flank cannon. He's not quite there yet. Now, you get a level up every... You get a, uh, a new ability every 15 levels up until 45, and then you stop getting... Uh, then you stop leveling up altogether, and then you just get points. So as you can see by just pointing my gun this direction, my bullets are ripping through his bullets and keeping me nice and secure and safe. We're because we have a lot of damage and a lot of bullet penetration, so we can protect ourselves pretty easily by firing our bullets in the direction of somebody else, keeping a lot of bullets off of us and keeping us nice and safe, which is what we want. We want to be nice and safe. We don't want people taking taking down our tank, taking our, taking our, taking us and destroying us. I don't... I, I, again, now, this is, um, along with all the other IO games, no sound whatsoever. So if you're hearing a song... I'm probably going to take um, 
song that a friend made for me that I have yet to use because I just don't know what to do with it, you know. I have thought, some people have said, well, um, you could put it at, like, the end of the video and your outros and stuff, but generally speaking, I like to keep those outros, you know, just my voice, just as I like to keep the videos mostly my voice. But he does mostly dubstep stuff, dubstep stuff, and, um, his, uh, his YouTube channel is Mellow Creeper, if you're interested, um... I'll, if I do use his song in the video, I will be putting a link to it in the description so that you can all go and uh, check out the stuff that he does if you're interested. Anyway, though, we're going to continue on and just keep ripping apart these put apart these boxes. I would really, uh, I really do want to put in that song though because just playing this game with no sound, nothing. Generally speaking, if you play this game, I would highly recommend that you put some music in the background, create a playlist of songs or something and play them. I would like it if they did have some kind of sounds to this game. Just a song, if nothing else, or some popping bubbles or whatever. Of course, some people might be like, well, I, I want to play my songs, but, you know, they could easily add the songs in or something like that and then add a mute function because, geez, talking over nothing is kind of hard sometimes because uh, the only thing that's really happening is us ripping around trying to get through all this crap I don't know how uh, late into the day this video is going to come out. I tried to record this video yesterday, uh, record it yesterday and get it all ready and edited and everything, but I recorded a full 25 minutes of this game only, only for, <laughs> just, I, I, I recorded 25 minutes of this game and then immediately, <laughs> immediately after I finished the recording I realized Oh no. Now, here actually, this is interesting. We could go into Triple Shot or Quad Tank. And if we went to Quad Tank, then we could actually uh, go to the Octo Tank as well. But we're going to go with Triple Shot, which is going to make it a little hard for us. But if we. Um, we're going to try to go for a very special uh, ability uh, soon. Very soon, if I remember what that is specifically. I hope. I hope so anyway. I don't remember the. I've never fully been to the top tiers of this. Let's increase our movement speed a bit, and then health regen as well. We want to make sure that we're moving pretty quick and ripping people apart. Right, I think I'm also going to be increasing my speed a little bit more, mo uh, just mostly because I would like to move fairly quickly. This is ripping apart everything in front of us pretty well, pretty well. I'm hoping we can get to the top tier, though. Obviously, if we were using the quad tank, we'd have more... We'd have more cannons, and the Octo Tank is ridiculous. It is a nightmare. It is just an absolute nightmare on, on, the, on the battlefield. Hopefully, we get to the top tier soon. I see somebody trying to shoot us a bit with a sniper. Uh, snipers can be a bit dangerous if you upgrade. If you go into the sniper tier and you upgrade the damage all the way, it will do a lot of damage. But you're going to want to also increase the bullet speed to a massive amount, and reload speed would also be something you want to focus on with that because you don't fire very quickly, and you might need to, uh, and you might need to otherwise. So yeah, it's kind of a bullet hell in front of us right now. <laughs> You've killed Please Team, that's hilarious. There's a guy called Please Team that I just ripped apart. I want to get to the top level, I don't want to get to the top of the leaderboards today because that would take us too long and we might die and other things like that, but if we just get to the top if we just get to the top tier, which I can show you, and then show you how cool it is when you get to the top tier, just start ripping people apart a bit uh, at top tier levels, if you've upgraded yourself correctly. Again, I've never really followed through, I've never fully gotten the max upgrades that... Oh, I'm getting... Oh, I'm getting messaged by Toast. Um, he, um, you all know Toast, so he's... Um, He's messaging me because he, he wanted to uh, go mountain climbing with me and stuff like that. I'll, I'll, I'll probably just leave that in. Everybody knows Toast already, so it's not a big deal. So a uh, number of my friends I would usually censor out that sort of stuff, but since everybody already knows who Toast is, I don't think he, he cares all that much. Although I might uh, censor out some of his messages if uh, if I feel the need to, but I don't think it's too big of a deal. I don't think it's too big of a deal anyway. I don't think he'll, he'll mind much. But yeah, so hopefully we can get to the top tiers. I need to start finding more blue things to shoot at. Um... Ooh, we might be able to take out this guy and get a fair bit of points, but nope, he's pretty fast. It's not going to help us too much to try to go after him. And somebody here is trying to kill us for points. I can see that already, which is a bit annoying. A bit annoying. We're very close. We're so close. We're at level 43. Once we get to level 45... 
Oh, oh, he's just telling me apparently to forecast for rain and stuff. I don't think he realizes that I am currently recording. <laughs> I guess Toast is going to show up in a cameo. That's fine. I hope he doesn't mind. This uh, this game is kind of boring as it is, uh, just as it is. Again, it's a game that I would highly recommend either putting on a song or maybe going into a Skype call with somebody just kind of talking to them. But don't you be doing any teams if you're doing free-for-all because that teaming... Teaming is for douches. Teaming teaming is not the way to go. Teaming is for somebody who's bad at the game. That's what I'm going to say right here, right now. I always hate it when I see either YouTubers or just people in general on uh, some of these iOS things, especially like when uh, when Agario first kind of came out before they came up with their sort of new anti-cheat system uh, that has been helping out quite a bit on the free-for-all servers anyway, uh, but also on the uh, team servers when people are doing the cross-teaming stuff. You know, it just, it's, that's just, that, like, if you, if you team, you are not good at the game, that's all I'm gonna say. You're just not good at the game if you feel that you have to team, like, that just, it's pathetic to me, honestly. But then it becomes a point where, because people are teaming so much, you almost have to team in some games just to, just because since everyone else is teaming, you have to team just to be able to get anywhere in the game. But it's annoying. Thankfully, I don't think there's that too big of a problem in this game right now with that. And because of the way that the game is set up with you firing tank cannons and stuff like that, I don't think too, pe too many people are interested in uh, teaming and stuff like that. There are some that do, there are some that do, and it's kind of annoying, but because it's very, um, uh, I would say this is more skill-based than things like Agario and some, other, uh, some of the other IO games, you know, it's not too big of a deal, but again, yeah, I'm just... If you team, you know, you're not you're obviously not a very good a very good player. There is the quad tank as you can see. It's pretty scary to look at uh, when one of those things comes out onto the field. But the octo tank is definitely the most terrifying thing that you will ever see if it comes out. Uh, hopefully we don't run into one. They just it is pure bullet hell. There is the quad uh, flat flank cannons. Um, I'm not sure what kind of bullets are coming at us from where where these bullets are coming from, but I don't want to deal with them or their owner. Uh, we could fire at this guy a bit here. I don't know if we... Oh, well. well whatever. Uh, let's keep on... Oh, yes. If we hit that blue thing, I think we'll be able to actually... Live our... Oh, we're full level. We're full level. Now we're going to have the Penta Shot. This is... Kind of, this is... This is terrifying. Okay, I've seen this Penta Shot thing before, and it just fires a ton of bullets into one direction. Pretty terrifying to look at. Again, though, we are completely vulnerable to the back, but it's not too big of a deal because we could just move like that. Just just, just move like that and done. Yet yeah, that's all there is to it. Of course with all this tank firing in the front it makes us a little it makes it a bit hard to move uh, in a forward motion. But if we increase our movement speed that should help out quite a bit there. Anyway though I think we have seen everything that we need to see in this game. There's not a whole lot more that I can show you. Yeah, uh, so yeah, yeah. Again, mostly you just want to create a strategy for getting to the top, leveling up your character in a way that um, when you finally do get to those top tiers that your top ability that you're going to have is going to become really ridiculous and rip people apart um, in the very end because of simply simply of how you uh, uh, leveled your character and stuff like that. So yeah, anyway though guys, I think this is about all I can say on the video, all I can say about this game, so if you guys like this episode, make sure to hit like on it, otherwise I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye bye And I was recording audio that time, right? Right? Right?